So today I wanted to show you guys some maternity clothes that I have recently got in the mail. Um, the annoying part about being pregnant is that by the time you actually need maternity clothes, you only have like four or five months left of wearing those clothes. So I don't like to spend a ton of money on them. I have some stuff from like my previous pregnancy that I've worn this time, but I don't know. I just felt like I wanted some new stuff. My body's a little bit different than it was last time. Um, <clears throat> I haven't spent that much money, but I just wanted like a few new things that I could wear like all the time. So most everything is from H&M, super affordable. The other two things that I'm going to show you are just from Target. I picked them up yesterday, so I figured I would just show you guys those really quick. And also most of these, there's only a couple things that are actually maternity clothes. The rest of them are just regular because I don't like I feel like the way they make maternity clothes most of the time, everything is so big and like frumpy and I don't really like that. So, um, so before pregnancy, I'm normally like a medium large. I weigh 155 before pregnancy and um, I typically wear like an eight in general. So for mostly everything, I sized up. For mostly everything, I sized up. If I did something differently, then I will mention it. But I'm just gonna show you guys some stuff really quick. I'm gonna show you in the mirror because I was like trying to set this up to make it easy for me to show like my whole body and the whole outfit and it just wasn't working because I am not a fashion blogger, vlogger person, YouTuber. So, um, the first thing I'm wearing, <laughs> this is from Target. This is a bathing suit I got yesterday. I've been eyeballing it um, online and then I went to the store yesterday so then I saw it and I was like, yeah. I should totally get that. Um, the top, I really sized up. Like I should, like I was gonna order a large online, but all they had was like the double D, um, like D double. And also, I am 20 weeks pregnant. Um, they had the D double D, and I looked at it, and I was like, I feel like I need to get that one. Um, which I am not a D, but it just looked kind of small. And the back of it, don't mind my pregnant body. <laughs> um, the back of it is like, could barely even tie. So thank goodness I got um, this size. These I just sized up to a large. So I think this is super cute. I feel so frumpy, so don't mind me. I cannot believe that I am putting on bathing suits right now um, on the internet, but that's okay. This is really irritating to get on and off. <laughs> so that part is annoying, but I really love um, the look of it. I think it's super cute for like, I think it's really cute if you're extra like me and want like cute bathing suit pictures. But I've been walking around in it for about an hour now and it's not the most comfortable. So, you know, but it's cute. So this set I have also been eyeballing <clears throat> online from Target. Um, the reason I did not order it though is because I wanted the pants and they didn't have the pants on it. Also, <laughs> my toddler's Crocs. Um, they didn't have the pants online, so they do have shorts, but I really wanted the pants. So I saw this yesterday and, you know, had to get it. I don't know if I can pull off the cheetah print because mom life, but I think it's such cute little loungewear. I was thinking to bring it to the hospital with me for after I have the baby. You can wear it above your bump if you want, which I probably will do walking around the house. Um, yeah, that's cute too. But um, I love this one. It's super cute and comfortable. Okay, so number one, don't mind my nipples because I can't find... I don't know what kind of bra to wear with this shirt yet. Um, I'm moving on to H&M, by the way. So my last pregnancy, I never got maternity shorts because I just wore normal shorts with like the belly band thing, but uh, that's super uncomfortable for me. So I decided to try some H&M shorts and I think these are so cute. And I was afraid they weren't gonna fit me because I feel like H&M sizes sometimes I'm just not sure about. But they fit me so well, they're super, super, super stretchy and this is just so comfortable and they're like cute as cute as like normal shorts I feel like they're not like super long like they don't make me look super like a lame mom um so I really like them and then this shirt 
This is a maternity shirt from H&M and I thought it was cute enough to try. I love the color. You'll notice a theme. I got a lot of green. Um, it's just got like, I think you could wear, you could wear it like this if you wanted to. Um, it's long enough, you know, to cover the weird part of the shorts. And I'm just super happy with this look. And you'll notice everything I get is so simple because then you can just wear it all the time. If you wear something crazy and then you wear it again the next week, people are going to notice the crazy. So yeah, I like to keep it simple. So I really wanted to get just a few like cute, super casual, comfy bodycon dresses. So the next three that you're going to see are all, they're not maternity. They're just regular dresses that I sized up a little bit in. Um, but they're super cute and you can wear these like all the time and be so comfortable, especially because I'm having a summer pregnancy. So here is the first dress. I love the color. I've been tanning, so I love the, the color with the tan. Um, love the way my bump looks. Love the way the tush looks. <laughs> it's not... When I first got it in the mail, I thought it was going to be so short just looking at it, but it's super conservative length. Like I feel like my belly can keep growing and I'll still be able to like wear this and it's not going to be too short. And it just has this cute little slit detail right here. And I'm wearing a normal bra and it looks fine, which is, you know, I just like to wear normal, normal bras most of the time. So this dress really love. So this next dress is not nearly as tight as the last one i've been really liking the button dresses i don't know i've been looking for one so i saw this one and i really liked it it's like a mid-length it still hugs the belly but it is loose it's like not tight at all um and it's ribbed and I really like how it looks. Like, this is super comfy. I feel like I could wear this all the time, too. I just really like everything so far, you guys. And I just love seeing the bump. Okay, this dress I love, except for the shoulders are a little bit big and it's showing my bra, so I might have to adjust a little bit. Um, it's a really cute floral print and it's ribbed and it is a bodycon dress and it is not super short. It is super conservative in length and I feel like I can move freely while looking cute. It's perfect for spring. <laughs> you guys, I love all these dresses so much. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys a couple more bathing suits. The only reason why I picked these bathing suits is because I also got matching ones for my daughter because they had toddler ones that had like the same print. Um, I don't think I would have picked these out besides that, um, but they're still, they're still pretty cute. But if you do have a toddler that you want to match with, you can find a similar one in their size too. Okay, I actually am obsessed with this one. I didn't think I would be. Um, this is a little funky. I feel like I feel super like comfortable and confident. Like I could just, it's, it's oh, I think I just did a nip slip. <laughs> it's a little bit big on my boobs. Um, but those suckers are just going to keep getting bigger. So it's fine. <laughs> but I feel like I could just like run around on the beach with my kid and like, feel good about it you know the back is it's all like the butts covered this one is so cute and i don't think i would have picked it if they didn't have the matching toddler one but now that i have it on i would totally pick this so this one i don't love it um i don't love the fit of it it's i don't normally get bathing suits it has like that metal clasp in the back and I don't normally get bathing suits like that because I feel like it's pretty tight. Um, the side kind of fits pretty funky. And maybe it's just the two pieces that I don't love right now because my belly is still not super 
round. Like if I had like a nice like, oh, like, you know, I feel like I'm more pudgy than anything um, right now. I feel like maybe I'll like it a little bit more when, cause you see like some people might not even know I'm pregnant. So I could just be, you know, a little on the chubby side, but I feel like <laughs> once my belly is a little bit rounder, I might feel more comfortable. But the toddler, let me show you the toddler version. It's so cute. This is, this is the toddler version. So I had to, you know, and then this is the toddler version of the other one. It's just super simple, but it's the same pattern. So don't know that I would totally pick this. Um, I don't know how comfortable I'm gonna feel walking around in it, but I mean, it's cute. It's cute, probably, I don't know. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna link everything below, everything that's available at least, um, so that you can go order it if you see something that you like. Everything is super affordable, I feel like. I feel um, like almost everything that I showed you, I really like. The couple of bathing suits that I said that I don't love, I think it's just because of my, I don't know, me being uncomfortable with the way my body looks right now, but really like everything um i think that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video then um don't get your hopes up because i am not a fashion youtuber so but if you did like this video and you just want to follow along on my pregnancy then subscribe to your girl but i think that's everything and i will see you guys next